Holy moly. <sighs> How's it going everybody? My name is Casey and we are back to continue our journey into Scarlet Nexus. Now I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and enjoying it. Now this game, whew, these last couple episodes have been very interesting and very intense. So we decided to go back to Tugetsu and go inside Babe, their computer software or system and shut it down. So they, you know, so we can stop them. We managed to do that, but in the process we had to fight a lot of others and there was this amazing chase sequence that for me personally, I think that was the hardest part of this game. <laughs> me constantly moving around and dodging the others and just constantly falling off and dying. <sighs> it took me a while to pass it, but we, we managed to get through it and now we're on our way to Kunai Gate. I believe there is someone there who can help us. Uh, Give us more information on how to stop this, maybe using the red strings and maybe stop to get to and all this and all this stuff. So I'm very excited to see what happens next. Thank you guys again so much for the support. And yeah, let's do this. All right, guys. So I think we need to go to the Kunan Highway parking area. Okay, let's do this. Who, who, who exactly? They were saying about Yuito's mom, something we we're gonna have to find here. Let's see. It's been a while since we've been in this highway. Du, 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 du. Let's go, let's go. expanding but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years this place brings back a lot of memories the red strings I think there's a good chance this is going to work okay I hope I know what it feels like we'll give you SAS support we should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together there's no telling what kind of dangers there will be so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible in order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. Okay. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear. But I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito. If you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of 
course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. This is the same as before. What is this place? Oh, Naomi. The place where Mother has... Can we jump into these? No, we can't. Oh my gosh. These are our memories that what we've been through. It's crazy. I guess this is the hospital. This is it. Ah, my eyes. So white. So bright. Where am I? This is the hospital, right? Information for patients. Today is October 4th, 2009. I jumped right to when I wanted. I sort of have a sense of the red strings now. I don't think I can use them repeatedly, though. I should start looking for Mother. They won't notice me? I'm just a random girl like this? Uh, okay. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to make myself um, noticeable. Uh, I think it'll be here, right? Wrong door. She know us. One day, I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the red strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-red strings to transfer data across time to red strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. 
Is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunat Gate. <sighs> Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Okay. Now, while the red strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. All right. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide and seek. It's all right. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Uh-oh. An other warning. It's starting. I'll keep you safe, Mother. Let's go after Yuito. Others could show up at any time. I have to find Yuito fast. Okay, I was about to say, cuz, like, in... If you do the Yuito campaign, will he die? So I haven't played it. Oh, okay. Where are you, Yuito? Yuito! Mother, look out! Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, we gotta grab that. Holy moly. Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way.
I, I... I put the cuff on Yuito. Thank you. People can see us here. Come this way. All right, then. Yes, let's go. This'll work. I need to think of Yuito and return to my time. Take me to your time. Isn't that gonna mess up with the time, though? I, I'm so confused about how this time... ...fast time travel works. It's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuito... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. Well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So, can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? This girl. You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. Kasane story stand by phase 10. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of Bond episodes. I can't forgive the people on the moon for what they did. But if people are suffering from metamorphosis on the moon, too... Alright, Shiden, what you got? I'm so glad that your power didn't fall into Togetsu's hand. Just think of all the Asane, damage... Are you starting to remember the time when you lived with Wakana? Unfortunately, no. But I do remember the kind, warm feeling I had in the days I spent with Mother. It's all because I met her. The circumstances are unfortunate, but I'm glad I got to see her again. They could have done with it. Uh, yeah, Bon episode. Hey, Kasane, got a minute? Yes, what do you need? It can wait if you're busy. 
But I was hoping you'd run some military exercises with me. We can go now. Let's head to the training facility. Damn it. I thought I could win this time. I can't believe you turned the tables on me at the last second. I may have managed to push through at the end, but it was really close. Thanks. That made for a good training session. I noticed you move differently now. It's like you don't hesitate anymore. Don't analyze me. You shouldn't get carried away just because you beat me. It was a compliment. I know, but I guess it's fine. I'll learn from this experience and win next time. Just you wait. I appreciate your passion, but remember not to push yourself too hard. You'll make your family worry. I don't even have to be pushing myself for them to worry. They never listen to anything I say. You have good parents. You had better be replying to all of their messages. I am, but they still won't stop bugging me. I decided I'm gonna drop by and see them once in a while. There you go. That's a good idea. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. They're constantly asking when I'll be coming over next. I mean, don't they get how busy I am? You always talk about them like that, but I know they're important to you. You just can't admit it. That's normal. You're just too blunt. Although that could be why you're so strong. You fight for what's important to you without being bothered by what anyone else thinks. That's a strength that can't be measured and utterly incomprehensible to me. But I did learn something while watching you. What would that be? Real strength isn't something you compare against other people. Everyone, including me, has their own unique strengths. Anyway, don't get cocky just because you're a little talented. I'm eventually going to surpass you and run the OSF one day. And here I thought you'd actually grown as a person. You haven't changed much at all. What? Although, it would be off-putting if you suddenly changed overnight. So I guess this is better. Nothing but insults, as usual. Are you really trying to become friends with me? About that. I know what Kyoka said, but I don't think we need to force a friendship between us. What? We may have different ways of thinking, but we can trust each other on the battlefield. Don't you think that's good enough? Ouch. Uh, we're fighting in the same platoon. I suppose I can at least be cooperative. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. I'm ready. Who else do we talk to? Got anything else to say, Shiden? No, okay. Uh, Yuito? Hey, hey, Yuito, stop hitting me. I didn't think you would bring, my, bring back our mom. I'm getting kind of nervous. What should I say to her? I don't know. Uh, how you? How are you? He and I share the same mother. I wonder how he feels about that. Yuito, are you free right now? Yeah, what's up? It's just... Well, I thought we could talk about our mother. I'm sure we both have some things we want to say. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that too, actually. Oh, why don't we head down to Mizuhagawa? Why there? I just thought a little picnic might help change the mood. I can make some food for us. What do you think? A picnic in the middle of others? Well, I guess it'll warm us up for battle. Yeah, it'll be field training. Let's head out in about an hour. All right. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. What you got for us? What kind of food? Oh, this is pretty elaborate. You might even be better at this than Naomi. No, that's too much of a compliment. I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means... You're like my big sister, then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. 
I hadn't thought about it that much. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. That laugh... Is he trying to make me feel better? If he is, then maybe I was too hard on him. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. Isn't that right, Naomi? Naomi. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. Promise not to laugh, but... When I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. Ah, like body. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. This is starting to get a little awkward. Is it because he called me his big sister? Oh, um, thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Okay, let's go then. Let's do this! Oh, I thought we were actually going to battle. So, what I'm understanding is Mother was a scientist who worked in Tugetsu and she created us and i think she quit and had yuito and her brother i i don't know i don't know what do you gotta say arabi oh no hanabi do you think wakana would be able to stay here forever like that'd be nice how great would it be if she could just live here oh kasane do you have a minute will you come to a cafe in suo with me sure is everything okay? Uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Yuito. Has she made a decision about Yuito? Maybe. All right, let's go. So what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point as always. Okay then, 
I wanted to talk to you about the OSF. The OSF? Not Yuito? Hey, it's not like I think about him all day. I mean, maybe I did up until recently, but there's no talking about Yuito today. Okay. I want to be more independent and not rely on him so much. I see. So what about the OSF? We've seen the OSF's dark side through the battles we've been in. We know that they're not an ally of justice. We found out that it's an organization that runs cruel experiments that cost a lot of people their lives. True. Now I'm struggling with the decision of whether or not to stay in the OSF. I know that I have to be the one to make the final choice, but I just wanted to ask your opinion. If you're questioning your current situation, you either have to leave or change. Right. So it comes down to those two options. I guess I don't really want to leave. I have friends and other people who are very important to me in the OSF. And I don't want to run away. I feel like I need to face the OSF head-on precisely because we know there's something wrong. Then that leaves you with only one answer. You're right. I probably already knew it, but was too afraid to say it out loud. I want to change the OSF because it's filled with the people I love. I don't want to give up on it. An OSF that doesn't sacrifice lives, but saves them. Yeah, that's going to be my goal. That's a good goal. Straightforward, just like you. <laughs> I know it's ambitious, but it's the least I can do if I want to be on the level of you and Yuito. You can do it. I told you before that you have the power to break through the front line. Even outside of battle, you can break through barriers as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a compliment, but thank you. I'll do my best. Hey, Kasane, I'm glad we became friends. Is something wrong? I was so preoccupied with Yuito before, but talking to you made me realize I had to change. I think you've helped me broaden my perspective as well. I think about things I never would have before. It might just be my imagination, but are you planning to leave the OSF? What makes you think that? Well, you didn't seem to hesitate when you suggested my leaving the OSF. So I thought maybe... I haven't made any decisions yet, but you're right. I am considering that as a possibility. Really? Okay. Oh. It'd be sad to say goodbye, but I'll always support you, no matter what path you may decide for yourself. Thank you. I appreciate that. Although, I'd like to see you confess your feelings to Yuito before I leave. Oh, put it right in the spot. What? I told you, no talking about Yuito. Did you say that? On Anyway, I'm not ready yet. But... I think I'll be able to take the first step soon. So wish me luck. I hope your wishes come true, and not just romantically. I'll pray for you too. Let's both do our best. What does this handshake mean? I'm not sure, but it just felt right. Maybe it's a sign of our friendship. Even if we're apart, we'll still always be friends. Okay. Friends it is. Well, are you ready to go? <laughs> we still have so much to do. Yes, let's get going. Kasane, have you mellowed lately? Like how you talk? Have I? I'm not particularly aware of it. Really? I just had the feeling that you're somewhat easier to talk to. Maybe I'm the one who's changed. It could be that I understand what you're feeling more since I know you better. That makes me happy. Reach bond level 5 with Hanabi. Okay, girl. Prolong SAS effect burnt negation. The time of the SSF pyrokinesis effects is prologue. Also, you recover from the burn status and damages negate during the effect. Okay. It makes me happy to know you trust me. I know I'm in good hands with you, so this is what trust feels like. Ah. Uh. Alright, let's do Gamma. Gamma! So, the moon was dropped, the others in 
onto Earth. I thought the others were our enemy, but it turns behind their ugly vow. It's a human all along. All right, what you got? What you have to say for it? Kusane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? <sighs> I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagala. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain. But she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Hmm? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here... ...has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public... ...the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new, too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. You move so efficiently in battle. That's really impressive, considering how little combat experience you have. Although, while it's great that you don't hesitate, just don't be too reckless. Sometimes you need to pause and think. Yes, you're right. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to remember that. Uh, no, I didn't mean to lecture you. Maybe this is because of my age. Alright, reach bond level 4 with Gamma. Assault vision. Attack an unguard enemy and Gamma will call out. Enter him with a triangle plus square and he will appear as a vision and can perform a special attack. Okay. Got fun snack set as a present from Gamma. The more I get to know you. More impressed I am. Is something wrong? I mean, I think you're amazing too. Okay. I... So Naomi did play a lot, a big role in this 
game. She changed. She's changing Kasane's. The way Kasane is acting now in um, Gamma. So I talked to you. You already did. Oh, I gotta talk to you too. I got this feeling things are going to get hectic after this. I'll I'll be taking it easy until Wakanda gets up. Alright. Arashi, do you have a second? It's about this program. After the update... She seems unusually focused. Is she making a new program? Whoa, Kasane! This is a video game. You're playing instead of doing work? I could say you caught me, but this is what I always do. It's kind of pointless yelling at me over things like this anymore. Why do you want to skip out on work so much? It's not that simple. This is a defensive measure to ensure I don't waste my precious stamina and mental energy on pointless work. Defensive measure? That's basically... Arashi, got a minute? Did you come to scold me about my work ethic, too? Now's not the time for jokes. Major General Fubuki might be in trouble. What? What happened? I haven't been able to reach him for the past few hours. His geolocation isn't available either. The OSF hasn't been able to help. We're working in the dark. It's probably best we go look for him, then. No, we don't need to do that. How come? Because he's going to wander back like nothing happened. Going to look for him is just a waste of time. Saving your only brother is a waste of your time? <laughs> oh. I'm saying my time shouldn't be used on a pointless effort. Fine. Let me try putting it another way. Which do you think is better? Wasting a moment of your time on pointless work? Or losing him and regretting it for the rest of your life? Lose him? Right. You... <sighs> I see. You may have a point. Haruka, send me Fubuki's last known location. Okay, hold on. There, I sent it. It was a while ago, so we should expand the search... Oh. Arashi? Did she just leave? Can you track her location with GPS? I'm doing it, but I'm getting her geolocation data coming from everywhere. I can't get a lock on her current location. It must be her hypervelocity. We should wait and see where she ends up before we go after her. Arashi stopped. She's... It's Arashi. Rebel is blocking my path. I'll need your power to move this. I'll send you the coordinates. <sighs> I'm heading out to the coordinates. Looks like it's around the abandoned subway. I mean, we. Arashi, I'm inside Arashi, the abandoned yes. subway, headed your way. Copy that. Hurry if you can. I'll continue investigating the area. Later then. Hey, Arashi! Come on! Take this! Take this! Let's keep going. Like you're one to talk, Kasane. All right, can I go now? Oh, there's still another one. Okay, hold on. Take that. Ah, oh my gosh. All of a sudden, you guys want to do this? The enemy is attacking with electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. Okay, let me go. I'm trying to do something here. Just let me go, please. Using the sheet up. Take that. We did it. Okay. You're left. You're the last one. Let's keep going. That was quick. Well. 
Get out of my way. I don't got the time for that weak spot right now. I don't. Surprisingly, they're actually doing this. So usually all the bon, ep bon episode is just... Squatching cutscenes. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. It's been a while since we've been in the subway. This is where um Naomi first turned into the other. I've almost reached the coordinates. Copy that. I'm getting reports about a gust of wind blowing through the city. What? Yes. It's not causing any damage, but apparently it's unsettling. I just thought you should know. That gust. I don't think it'll be coming back. I'm betting it was Arashi. She was probably running all over the place looking for traces of Major General Fubuki. Despite what she was saying, she must be really worried. If I can just find an opening... Arashi! Kasane! What took you so long? I came here as soon as I could. I'll save my questions for later. First, we have to do something about this. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, now we can keep going. Is Major General Fubuki up ahead? Probably. It looks like there was a big fight here. The damage seems recent. They just won't let up. Ah, uh, come on. They're not going to stop me. All right, you flying demons. Time for stealth. Okay, I got it. Let's hurry up and take care of them. This area is particularly in danger of keeping in. Understood. You be careful too. If it's caved in ahead, the cookie will be useless. It's over. There we go. There we go. And there, take that. Ooh. Alrighty. We need to hurry for her. Guys, check her. Where's the other one? Take that. Normal human speed can't keep up with that. Where? Where did we go? Okay. More rubble. Leave it to me. Arashi? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What happened? I was investigating the area when the extinction belt suddenly descended and jammed my transmissions. Then the others suddenly appeared and destroyed the path, trapping me here. I knew I didn't need to come all this way, honestly. <laughs> no, you still saved me. Thank you, Kasane. I'm sorry to have bothered you, sis. Yeah, no kidding. Now I'm exhausted. Sorry. I guess this makes it the second time you saved me. Mm. Did something similar to this happen in the past? Yes, back when I was a kid and scouted by the OSF. Arashi threw a big tantrum using her power and told them they couldn't take me with them. What? But it's obligatory. It's no use trying to change their mind. So why? The OSF and death go hand in hand. Sometimes we need to accept the irrational. I might be able to handle that, but I knew full well that someone earnest like him wasn't equipped to deal with it. And those who aren't equipped to deal with it have a high chance of dying needlessly. So I thought I'd save everyone the trouble and stop him from being enlisted in the first place. 
Although, in the end, I wasn't able to change anything. Just a child's tantrum. That was the biggest waste of my entire life. My brother ended up enlisting in the OSF, and somehow even managed to climb up to Regiment Commander. On the other hand, I got injured, got the top brass on my back, making me run PR. Just the worst. Injured? So you got hurt? Yeah, I did something really stupid. I used my hypervelocity and tore my limbs off when I hit a wall. Oh. What? Don't worry, they fixed them right up so there's barely even a scar. But like you said, my pointless action didn't yield me anything. Just like today. <sighs> Neither of them are pointless to me. Kabuki? You risked your life to protect me. You used your tiny body to shield me. Ever since I saw that, I wanted to become someone who could risk their life for another. And while you were healing, I found out how fun letters could be. Letters? What letters? He's writing the letters. Did you forget? You wrote me letters as part of your physical therapy treatments for your hands. That's why I started writing letters too. It's like a hobby of mine now. Really? It helps me relax. There's something else it helps me with too. It helps me remember the time you defended me. It really cheers me up. So it wasn't pointless. Huh. So about today, do you really think it was pointless? Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh god, this girl. I see. I really hate wasted effort, but that doesn't mean it's all bad. It's fine doing something like this once in a while. It's a little embarrassing how it goes against everything I believe in, though. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. Alright, so we reached the bond level 4 with Arashi. Assault vision, attack and guard enemy and Arashi can, will call out. Enter her with the triangle and square and she will appear as a vision and perform a special attack. You're intriguing. I'm discovering more and more of your good qualities. I am? Well... I guess getting to know someone isn't a bad thing. Alright, that was a really good uh, Bond episode we actually get. Why am I stuck here? Whoa, okay. We actually, she's kind of like, you know, getting closer to her brother. But I think we have only one left. I think we did cheat in. We did that. Yeah, so we just have to do, um,. Commander Kyoto, I am so glad you made it back safely. I was pretty freaked out while you were gone. Oh, Kasane, perfect timing. There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate. What? 200%? How can you be twice as right about something? Either way, I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Let's go get red together. You might gain some valuable information we can use in our upcoming fights. I doubt that, but fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. This really is a long line. I'm surprised so many people believe in something so unscientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. Wonder what the fortune teller is going to say. What's taking her so long? Did something happen? I should probably go look for her. She tricked us. Maybe. To get our bread a fortune teller. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka, who are you talking to? Oh, Kasane. I I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? 
Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu is on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I was surprised too. It seems the agents scattered around New Himuka are still active. They told me to come back and work with them. But why? Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's vast memory data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course not. I'd never do that. <sighs> There's still something worrying you. She told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Who do they think they are? I know, but it's true that I was created to fulfill Togetsu's plans. My brain, my body, and everything else. Mm. When I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it, but sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. You're not worthless at all. You've saved us countless times. We need the Kyoka who's here with us now, not Dr. Pope's memories. Thank you. You're right. I can't let them get to me. We should try to find out what the Togetsu remnants are up to so we can stop them. Do you have any leads? Not yet, but as long as they need me, they'll approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. I really don't want to get you involved. But I need your help. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh, I was hoping to get some good news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've been together for a while, Kasane. Ever since you were a cadet. And your growth still surprises me. It does? I haven't noticed any changes in myself. You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. Alright, so we reached the bond level 4 with Kyoha. Assault vision attacking a guardian enemy with Kyoha will call out. Okay, same thing as everything else. You've opened up to me more. That makes me so happy. It might sound like I'm exaggerating a little, but it really is easy to talk to you. Yeah, Ksane, you came a long way. You're finally talking to everybody, building up relationships. And yeah, I think... I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's go just in the corner here. Just look at everybody. Alright, I think, I think that's a good point in the episode right here because then the next episode we're going to start chapter 11 and see where Wakan, Wakan, well, I was going to say Wakanda, I forgot her name, our, our mother, uh, and see what goes on after this. We might have to try to figure out how to use the red strings, but hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I know a lot did not happen like action-wise, so a little bit more of story. We got to see Yuito in the past as a little kid, but yeah overall i did enjoy it and i can't wait to see what happens next stay safe out there be kind to one another and i'll catch you guys in the next episode bye